Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh Alhamdulillah rabbil alamin Assalatu wassalamu ala rasulihil amin Sayyidina wa habibina Muhammadin Wa ala alihi wa ashabihi ajma'in amma ba'du My dear respected brothers and sisters Recently there were rumors around and fitness around Talk about in particular uh, myself And I think this is a good opportunity for me to make some clarifications because I'm worried that if this fitna continues to spread then many of our brothers and sisters are going to be poisoned, going to be misled, going to be victimized. And it is incumbent upon me, it is important for me to make some clarification. The first rumors that have been spread around by some individuals is about that on the 19th of May, there was an incident happened at Masjid Al-Hikmah, a masjid that belongs to the Indonesian Muslim community in Astoria, Queens. There was a, a Juma prayer. On that day, I was officiating a marriage in Long Island Islamic Center. And because on that day I have that marriage, I have to perform that marriage, I did not have any schedule to deliver khutbah anywhere. So I intended to go to Masjid Al-Hikmah in Astoria to perform my Juma. What happened when I arrived there around 12.30, 12.45, chaos already took place, already taken place. The committee of that mosque, Masjid Al-Hikmah, has already an invited guest khatib or speaker. And he was there sitting on the floor. All of a sudden, the imam of that mosque on that day, who happened to be a person who did not acknowledge and recognize the committee, took over the member and delivered his, his khutbah. So the chairman of the masjid, his name is a brother, I don't have to mention, but he's the chairman, he took over the microphone and asked him to get down. So what happened, the chaos happened between the committee and some individuals in the mosque. When I entered, I wanted to intervene. So I went to the front and I asked politely the imam to get down because the khatib, the invited khatib is already sitting there. But he didn't listen. Now, why the police came? The police is already there since two hours earlier because the brothers in the masjid have invited the, the police to in order for security. So the police listened into the chaos and the, and the shoutings and the, the noise. So he entered into the mosque. Possibly he didn't know the adab and the etiquette of entering into the mosque so he didn't take off his shoes. So the point is that I did not stop the Friday. I did not disperse the Jummah. It is about the Imam that took over the member before even the time. Normally the khutbah start in that mosque around 1.10, but the Imam stood on the member to take over the khutbah just 12.50 before even 1 o'clock. And so it is not between me and him, it is between the committee and the Imam, because the Imam did not acknowledge, recognize the committee. So this is what, that's what happening. But some people took a video about me, and then they make YouTube, and then spread out, saying that I was the one who stopped this Jum'ah prayer, which is absolutely a fitna, which is absolutely a rumor, and which is not true. And I'm available anytime, anywhere, if you wanted to meet with me. Now, regarding some other issues, for example, there are some a misuse of fun in the masjid for the last seven years. I am not a board member. I am not. I was not an imam at the masjid al -Hikmah. I never seen that anything misappropriation of the fun. But by the way, we are here still alive. If anybody wanted to challenge this, you can come and talk to us. The committee, the board of trustees of the mosque is still, still alive. They are ready to face any challenge, any question from anybody else. Instead of going around to the community, making some fitna, making some rumors, it is better to sit down and see the books, see the, 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 the financial report that they have for you, so that you can see it, basically. But by the way, my brothers and sisters, I have been going this through last seven years. This issue is not a new in our community. And I would like to thank my Muslim brothers and sisters, particularly in Jamaica Muslim Center, that I have been endured for quite a long time. They know me. I've joined Jamaica Muslim Center since 2005, and they've known me. And so since 2010, there are some individuals have been struggling, trying day and night, in and out, 
to, to destroy uh, my reputation, to destroy my names. But Alhamdulillah, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is the protector. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is our khalik. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is the one who is taking care of our matters. You know, people wanted to destroy us, but if Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala protects us, no one can, can destroy us. And so I do believe in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and I do trust my community in Jamaica Muslim Center. These people have tried for the last seven years to ruin my name and to ruin my reputation. But let me just make it clear. Number one, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has never slept. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is not sleeping. He knows every single intention that we have in our, in our heart. He knows what is in our mind. He knows every single action that we do in life. And he's going to take, to take us to be responsible in the day of judgment. I'm going to ask these brothers and sisters to stop it because otherwise you are going to be responsible in front of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. My question is what is wrong with me? Or did I do something wrong with you? Did I, did I do something that will destroy you? You know, other than just be, being friends, being brothers and sisters, building community together, um, what really you want from me in that regard? And so be responsible in front of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. But more importantly, if these brothers are continuing in doing this without stopping it, then we are living in America. This is the country that basically uphold highly the, the, the law. And you are going to have that consequences in front of the legal the law if you don't stop it because you are ruining the names reputation of someone uh, without any reason without any basis you are printing flyers you are spreading that you are making some videos YouTube clipping of my speeches uh, out of context and then you spread that to, to our congregation and there are some people in our community they have been victimized have been victims because they do not know by simply listening to the video by simply listening to the whisper and that's why this is very dangerous now let me just remind you our community is a vibrant, uh, progressive community. It is a very, very dynamic community. And it is un very, very unfortunate if some members of our community, particularly if you are part of the committee, part of the board, that you are doing this. This is very dangerous to our community. You don't destroy me personally, but basically you destroy Jamaica Muslim Center. But not only Jamaica Muslim Center, you are basically destroying the reputation of Islam. Because any person that's being destroyed in the community basically is our community being destroyed itself. And that's why I would like to remind you that fitna is even more dangerous than qatal itself, than killing itself. It is killing our personality, it is killing our character, it is killing our community, it is killing our brotherhood and unity, it is killing our community. And that's why I appeal to all of you to stop this, do not continue it because it doesn't serve your interests. It doesn't serve interests of anyone. It doesn't serve the interests of our community at large. And nothing else that we can do except to ask you with humbleness that please do stop this. Please come together, build unity, working together for a better community in the future, inshallah ta'ala. I'm sure that by doing such, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will be pleased with us. And by that, inshallah, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will help us. And with that, inshallah, we are going to build a stronger community here in the United States of America. So again, thank you so much for this opportunity. Wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. ITV, call of peace, save humanity.